Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is John Vine. Today what we're going to be doing is looking at the Odin project. This is a great resource to learn to code online. And basically when I did my tier list review a couple of days ago, check it out if you haven't seen it. Basically I realized that I left out the Odin project and it's a resource that I've heard a lot about. A lot of people talk about it. It's greatly reviewed. And so I figured today, you know, to make up for that, I, I do a review of it, tell you guys what I think and if it's worth it. So first things first, if you're new to the channel, what we do here is we talk about software engineering. I try to use my experiences to help you guys achieve your goals of becoming full-time developers if you like the content hit the like button and subscribe to the channel guys it's free for you and it means so much to me right now around 90 percent of you guys are not actually subscribed that watch this video so just subscribe like the video it helps me out so much it helps out so much with the algorithm and i really appreciate it so guys odin project basically here we're at the home page you can see i made an account and so from my understanding i think this website is completely free but you know, we'll figure it out. So skills progress. It looks like it gives you a foundations course that kind of, I would assume teaches you, um, you know, the basics, the foundations of programming, how this course will work, intro to web dev, motivation, mindset. So it looks like there's more than just text. So yeah, it looks like this course will teach you the basic fundamentals of web development. Uh, so it talks about GitHub, talks about the internet, then Git, GitHub, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And it, it looks like it, there's a ton of different languages that it teaches you in. And yeah, so it looks pretty cool, but I really just want to look at, you know, actually some content. So intro to the front end, let's see. Introduction to the front end. Okay, so learning outcomes, assignment, read a brief intro, read about the role, get a high level overview. So it gives you, it looks like it gives you assignments by telling you to go to, to different resources. So from my understanding, I think Odin Project compiles different resources from the internet, and then it kind of puts them all into one place and tells you kind of where to go to learn different things. Like for example, right here, literally tells me to go to Free Code Camps Interactive Tutorials, do the entire section labeled Responsive Web Design Certification, and then optionally, um, I can go to another video, which I assume, okay, it's just, it's just, it's just a YouTube video, but I thought, I thought it would be Free Code Camp but it doesn't really lo look like these lessons are very interactive. It's just like a list of instructions. Um, so what, if I, what happens if I go to the next lesson? There's also a ton of extra tutorials, which looks like, you know, W3 schools, just different resources that I can go to online. So this looks like, okay, it tells me how to use developer tools. I mean, it does give you the very, very basic intros to, you know, how to set things up, how to set up an environment it looks like. So then it literally gives you instructions on how to set up a repository and you know, what kind of files to edit. And then it tells you what to build. So here it gives you build the google.com homepage, the simple one with just the search box, and then kind of gives you some tips and a difficult version of it. So you can also then see the code and see other people, what other people did. So you can go to other people's, um, look, this person rebuilt the Google homepage pretty well. That's pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, you can you can see other people's solutions on GitHub, which is pretty cool. Go to the live preview, which is also again these websites look awesome. So yeah, I, I guess it's less of an interactive experience, but more just like instructions. But it really does look pretty cool. Uh, you know, if this was paid, it'd be completely different. But the fact that it's free and it just uh, you know gives you it gives you other resources and stuff like that seems pretty cool. I would like to see some interactive coding though, similar to how Free Code Camp works. But you know, other than that, it's pretty cool. Um, so that yeah, here I'm learning about variables and numbers. So it looks like this fundamentals course is really just a list of instructions and just uh, it, it, it teaches you all the fundamentals, but it does it's not really interactive. It's just basically leads you to different websites and to different videos, to different little assignments, and you're doing all the work yourself and just following the instructions from this website. So my path, what is a path? All paths. Foundations start here. Okay, so I'm in the foundations path right now. So I guess there's two other uh, paths, which is Ruby on Rails and then JavaScript. So let's switch to Ruby on Rails. Open the course. So I've never actually used Ruby, so let's see it. So in, first of all, there's an introduction, how this course will work and then installing Ruby. So that's pretty great. It teaches you how to install the packages. You know, you love to see this kind of stuff. Installation and setting up is often the hardest part of you know coding, especially that's how it was for me when I was learning. Setting things up would be so hard. So it's good that it te teaches you how to set it up. And then it teaches you basic things about Ruby. So how to add, then I'm pretty sure strings, variables, cool. So it's very, very in depth and very, you know, beginner friendly. I'm guessing, you know, symbols, booleans, and then there's an assignment. So it teach it sends you to launch school. What's launch school? Oh, wow, this is another, uh, might have to do a review of this as well, but okay. So basically it sends you to launch school to uh, go through one of their courses. And then it says, read this guy's thing. 
and then follow the instructions to set up the exercise repo. Okay, and then and then you actually, you know, there's a repo, there's a GitHub repository with uh, exercises, and then you can go do it. So, you know, it takes a different approach. It just, you know, uses GitHub and takes a very simple approach to teaching you how to code, which honestly is pretty pragmatic. Like it's pretty good. It's pretty straight, it's just straightforward, no BS. So then you're learning about variables, which is awesome. And like, yeah, this is kind of the, this is, I'm guessing that this is kind of the format, right? There's just basically page after page, kind of like a detailed PowerPoint slide for different things for, you know, for, I'm taking the Ruby programming one right now. So it's starting off very, very, very basic. And, you know, I'm guessing that it gets just more and more in depth and more in depth. So, you know, let's try to do like a more, a more difficult uh, exercise. So, okay, look, a basic project. Let's see what this is. It just gives you the instructions and you can upload, you know, uh, a, a GitHub repo, basically. Yeah. So I do like, I do appreciate how like simple it is and how straightforward it is. And it does look like there's also, you know, a, a, a huge community for like 5,746 people on, online right now on their Discord with over 25,000 members. Guys, if you, uh, you know, want another great community, feel free to join my Discord. It's in the comment section. It's in the uh, description. So yeah, check it out. Uh, there's, it's growing slowly and it's a great place. So feel free to join my Discord as well. But you know, from what I'm seeing, from a, from a first kind of impression of the Odin project, I think the fact that it's free is, you know, makes it completely worth it, right? There's different paths. There's two paths you can take. Oh wait, there's, it looks like there's even more. So I'm doing the Ruby on... So what am I seeing here actually? So if you, so I guess if you do full stack Ruby on Rails, then the course actually has databases as well. I mean, that's, I didn't even know that. I thought it was just Ruby, but look, it teaches you about databases as well. SQL, update statements. This just added a lot of value actually. I didn't realize how many actual courses there were. So I'm guessing take Ruby to the next level with Ruby on Rails framework, then JavaScript. So it's really, really in depth. And I did see this too, getting hired. So preparing for your job search. That's awesome. It tells you like different instructions. I would like to see some kind of lead code style questions. That would be even better. But you know, this place is free, so I really won't judge it too much. Let's go to the uh, full stack JavaScript. Cause why is there Ruby on Rails teaching you full stack JavaScript? Okay, so full stack JavaScript is basically JavaScript front end and then Node.js is the back end that it teaches you and that's what makes it full stack. So, you know, I, I, I wasn't expecting this actually. And then look, Express, MongoDB, APIs. This actually, you know, this actually added a lot, a lot of value. Um, I like from seeing this, I think this is a great website. Um, it really does depend on if this content is good, but you know, it looks like it's, it's pretty good. The reviews I've seen are pretty awesome. There's assignments everywhere. You know, it, it, it tends to, to, to lead you to, re to resources that are really not that outdated from what I've seen. So I would back this website. I think it's pretty good. So yeah, guys, Odin Project, I would highly recommend this. I think from my first impressions, this looks like a great website. It's completely free. And you know, there's a couple of different courses on there that, are, that really go in depth and it basically serves as a good starting point to learn how to code. And there's, you know, links to a ton of different resources. And so I would try out the Odin Project if I was you guys. If this was the tier list, I'd probably put it on the second tier. So oh, with Code Academy, maybe I put this at a B in, uh, for the um, for the tier list, simply because of the lack of actual quantity. Um, but you know, it's free. It's pretty awesome, and I would I would recommend. It. I would I would try it out. So guys, as always, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. Like I mentioned before, it's completely free for you. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps me out so 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 much. So. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. If you have anything to add, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree with anything I said. And as always guys, take it easy and enjoy your coding.